Hello. In this problem, we are told that an engineer is designing a curved off-ramp for a freeway. Since the off-ramp is curved, she wants to bank it to make it less likely that the motorist going too fast will wipe out. It's gonna be banked like that. This is the horizontal. There's an angle theta over there. If the radius of the curve is R, how great should the banking angle theta be so that for a car going at a speed, we have this car, a car over here, speed V, no static friction force whatsoever is required to allow the car to make the curve. State your answer in terms of V, R, and the acceleration due to gravity, G. And show that the mass of the car is irrelevant. Well, in this problem, we go from, as always, pictorial representation to free body diagram. So we're going to have the normal in this direction and the mass or the, the weight uh, pointing down. So we have mg over here, the normal, and we have to find this angle theta. So makes an angle of 20 degrees with the horizontal. So we're going to have an angle theta over here. Uh, this angle is 90 degrees because this is the normal. So it is normal to this plane. And so this whole thing is 90 plus theta. And since this angle is also 90 degrees, it is a orthogonal system, then uh, this angle over here is going to be theta. All right, so we can remove this and that. So we have our um, angle theta over there, same as this one. So this is the radial direction or the radial axis, and this is the Z axis. So we go from pictorial representation to free body diagram to uh, equations. So Newton's second law for the orthogonal direction, directions. So we have the sum of forces in the radial direction. We have, and we want the friction to be um, and negligible. So we, we don't want to, I guess, the engineer, she doesn't want to rely on friction for this um, for this road. So it's just the normal force, the contribution of the normal force to the um, radial direction. So this is going to be minus the normal force. And in the radial direction, it is going to be the sine. So sine theta. And that's it, right? That's gonna be equal to mass times acceleration. The acceleration is centripetal and is towards this side. So it's gonna be minus 
m v squared over r. And for the z direction, we have negative mg, and all of it is in the z direction. And then it's going to be the cosine of this one. So uh, plus n cosine of theta. And we don't want this thing to be moving up or down in the z direction. Or the engineer doesn't want that. So this is equal to 0. So we're looking for the angle theta. And uh, we have two equations. So um, we can find it because the other variable is n, but we can get rid of it with this other equation. So from this one, n is mg over cosine theta. And we can put it up here. So it's going to be minus uh, with these negatives. We can cancel them out. They're, they're both in the same direction. So n, and that makes sense, right? Uh, if this were banked in, in this direction, then the radius of curvature will be in that direction. They still cancel out. All right, so um, instead of n, we're going to write what uh, this expression over here. So mg cos divided by cosine theta, sine theta equals mv squared divided by r, sine divided by cosine, that's tangent. And we can get rid of the masses on both sides of the equation. Uh, we can put the, this g move it over here. And so we have that tangent of theta is equal to these. So the angle is the arc tangent of v squared over gr. And we were asked to get the answer, the angle, as a function of the velocity, uh, g, and r. And that proved that it doesn't depend on the mass. Well, there's no mass term over there. So it's independent. It could be a pickup truck, or a motorcycle, or a regular car. It doesn't matter. It is the same for uh, every vehicle. And um, you know, depending on the speed, you know, the sign that you're going to get, you know, 30 miles per hour or whatever, depending on the speed, you, know, you can make the, the radius of curvature. Or more likely, the radius of curvature is going to be your constraint. So you have to tell people you can uh, change this, right? The angle, the banking angle, so that uh, you can give people some uh, support with the velocity that they have from the freeway. So I hope you liked this problem. Thank you.